I'm Akeem Browder. Khalif Browder was my brother. My brother, Khalif, took his life after three years of wrongful incarceration for a crime he didn't commit. When he came out in 2013, Khalif was not the same Khalif. The damage that was already done was not just physical, it was mental, emotional, psychological. When Khalif came home, he tried to go back to normal society or quote unquote normal society. So he went to college. That was when Khalif became more paranoid at the thought that he could easily be taken back to jail. After Khalif's death, I began advocating for bail reform. I wouldn't allow my brother's death to be in vain. I formed a grassroots organization called Shutdown Rikers, and I started going to town halls. I hold the entire system of incarceration, the school to prison pipeline, for the death of my brother. I think it's fair to say that Khalif wouldn't have committed suicide if we had bail reform that we have today. Well, Keem, first off, I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you. What was it like when you went to visit your kid brother? My brother, he was definitely starting to change. He was progressing to be what that jail makes you out to be, a hardened uh, lifestyle that you have to fight for your life. Uh, in that situation, Rikers Island is like many other jails. It's cor the <clears throat> corruption, the, violent, the culture of violence. It predicates that you have to become a gladiator. And Khalif, either you get swallowed up in that, in that system and you become a victim, or you become the fighter that tries to survive while you're fighting for your justice. And the bail was $3,000, right? Sure. You had to come up with $3,000? Yes. And you eventually, your family eventually <clears throat> did come up with the $3,000, but then they said no. Yeah, basically. They won't take the $3,000. The $3,000 we got two weeks later, uh, and the bail bonds company that we went to in the Bronx, uh, they turned away from the bail because they said he had a prior uh, uh, charge, which was joyriding in a bread truck that he, him and his friends did. Khalif was on probation. And this charge, felonious as it was, uh, made, uh, it was one of the things that kept him in jail in Rikers. So he stayed in Rikers for three years, and they kept offering him plea deals but he wouldn't take them because he said, I didn't do this. Exactly. They offered him five different plea deals, and he said, no, 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 I'm not going to plead to something I didn't do. Now, Judge Rosemary is really against bail reform and thinks judges should have discretion. What do, what do you say to judges that oppose bail reform? I, I would say look at it this way. Um, where did bail start? The, histor the history of bail is they used bail to capture uh, escaped slaves. And what we find in our system today is predominantly black and brown folk in jail, accused of a crime, not in prison where they're sentenced and they already taken a plea bargain or found guilty, but they're accused of a crime. That means they are innocent until proven guilty. We use that same age old practice of bail, uh, which we used back in the days when they were slaves, furthermore, keeping them being enslaved and taking away their freedom, taking away their, their ability to get true justice. And so we project them to the public as criminals. They're not criminals. They're accused until proven guilty. They are detainees, actually. Your brother, and I'm, I'm terribly sorry for your loss. First of all, we should not have 16-year-olds in jail. The average stay on Rikers is 42 days. If you're mentally right. ill, the average stay of a mentally ill person at Rikers is 215 days, five times that. Yes. Your brother was five times, with three years, five times that of a me mentally ill person, and 26 times more than the average stay of the 42 days. Now, he never should have been there, but th there needs to be a different place for minors. There needs to be assessments that include addressing homelessness that address mentally ill. Uh, we need to start over. Yeah. This law, though, that does not, that only addresses no bail and not safety is a problem and is overreaching and will cause more problems.